It's been uh, a number of years since we had a Big Ten championship here at Minnesota. Um, we're super excited about hosting it. Uh, we host the GRIAC Invitational, so we feel very, very prepared uh, to host this meet. Uh, it's an exciting time for us. Uh, we'll have a lot of things going on out there, and hopefully, uh, more overall, that we have uh, teams performing well. So we're looking forward to this in a big way. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, we, we have a great running community here in the state, and I think um, we're really looking forward to having that running community come out. I think you see the Twin Cities Marathon, you see a lot of things that go on from a running standpoint, um, and the GRIAC obviously is one we host, but I think getting all those high school kids and hopefully high school coaches, the great thing about the meet is on a Sunday morning, there's not a lot of competition with high school meets or other things going on, so we're really hopeful to get a, a big crowd out there. Um, it's a good home field advantage for us. The course is a tough course, and so we're really looking forward to you know showing the best of the Big Ten. The, be the Big Ten is one of the best distance conferences in the country, and so really to show that off to Minnesota running fans is going to be exciting for us come Sunday morning. How's the weather? Is it going to be, I haven't looked that far ahead, is it going to be raining or is it going to be cool or any idea? I can take, you know, Sunday looks yeah. great. Saturday looks a little spotty, but Sunday's going to be awesome. I think 55 and relatively sunny, so it'll be a great morning to come out and, and watch. Uh, for both of you, how has the season gone? Um, and has it lived up to expectations, not lived up to expectations? You know, uh, we're, we're a young team. We graduated three of our top five. We were 19th in the country last year. And, um, but we have some guys that we've filled in pretty well. Uh, we've been consistently sitting just outside the top 30 in, in the U.S. And there's probably four teams in the conference that come in ranked ahead of us. Uh, I think led by Wisconsin, who's number 11 at this point in time. But I do believe that there's not an overwhelming favorite. It's not uh, any knockdown, drop dead, uh, sure favorite in this meet. So uh, things could open up a little bit. And we, we look forward to uh, having it on our course. And um, so that should be a nice advantage for us. Yeah, you know, kind of similar on the women's side, we graduated four of our five from last year. Um, and obviously, we, we score five, but we brought in some really exciting young freshmen from the state of Minnesota. We're really Minnesota dominant right now in terms of our, our team, um, but we feel really good about where we're at. We were 18th in the country last year. We're hoping to make it back to the national meet again this year. Um, but I think um, on the women's side, it's a little bit different. There's a couple very, very strong top 10 ranked teams. Both Penn State and Michigan are ranked in the top 10 nationally. Um, and then Michigan State and, and ourselves um, and probably Indiana and potentially Wisconsin. So I think we're kind of in a battle for third right now. But, you know, as Plaz mentioned, on our course, really a lot of things can happen. That's what's fun about our course is it's, it opens it up for, for a lot of interesting things as the race progresses. So I know our girls are really excited, um, especially being a lot of Minnesota kids. They're excited to be at home and, and really show what we can do and, um, and hopefully come and put on a good show for the fans. How excited are you two about hosting the Big Ten? You already said it every time you're smiling now, you know, just – you guys smile every time you talk about it. Why is that? Well, you know, the, the Big Ten's a special meet, and, you know, the, it goes back a long, long ways. It's been over 100 Big Ten cross-country championships. And when the Big Ten family gets together, um, it's very competitive. And it's, it's at the GRIAC Invitational, if the finish line got a place wrong, it might be a little bit of an uproar. If anything's not in place for this meet and not ready, uh, you're going to have – a slew of coaches breathing down your neck. And so it's, it's a kind of meet that, um, you know, uh, many of the invitationals we go to this day in this day and age are huge, over 200, 250 runners. You know, for us on the men's side, we'll have, you know, uh, 12 teams running nine guys. So it, it's a smaller field, but it is, you know, super intense. And that's, that's what we look forward to. Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's a dogfight out there. And, and, you know, being a part of the Big Ten is just an honor a lot of ways. The coaches are all great. The athletes are all great. It, it really does bring out the best. It's fun in our sport because we get to line all 14 teams up at once and say, ready, set, go. Um, and it's a very clear-cut thing where, you know, obviously in, in other sports it's tournaments and it's you may have had a bad matchup and things like that. For us, we just get to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. Um, and a lot of things happen throughout the course of a race that you don't predict. And so it um, it is really fun for us. And like I said before, you know, the Minnesota running community, 
community is just such a great community that I feel like it's fun for them to come out. We have one of the best high school states for high school cross country in the country. Um, you look at the high school national level, and Minnesota is always really well represented there. And so I think it'll be really fun, hopefully, to have a lot of the high school teams come out and, and be able to see that next level of cross country. And that also helps us in recruiting. It helps us just create an even better um, hotbed of cross country in this state, which is only good for us when it comes to recruiting down the road, too, to just get people excited about the sport and, and keep the sport on a high level nationally. Anything else, guys? Uh, or who, who individually should uh, we, the viewers, look for? Yeah, you know, if from from our squad, uh, Matt Welch was second in the GRIAC Invitational, which is was a very good placing, and Obsa Ali, uh, those are our two top runners. Obsa was sixth in the GRIAC Invitational, um, so uh, you know he he should be in there. Morgan McDonald from Wisconsin is probably a favorite going in, and so uh, we'll look at him and maybe Ben Flanagan from Michigan as well. And on the women's side, um, I think overall um, the favorite's probably Erin Finn from Michigan. Um, she's a, a probably a world-class athlete down the road. She's she's just a beast. She has been since she was stepped in the conference. Um, this is her senior cross-country title, so um, she's going to be going after it. But I think individually on our side, um, Megan and Bethany Haas, who are local names, who I think people who follow the sport are familiar with, out of Alexandria, they're true freshmen, but they've been running really, really well for us. Um, and then Madeline Strandamo is kind of our returning um, – returning top kid from last year. She's a really excellent miler who's really coming into her own across country. And so I think for us, those three, we're hoping to really kind of put up in the top 10 and see what they can do from there. But I think um, it's exciting. You know, with freshmen, you just never know. Hopefully you put them up there and, and they end up coming out with a good spot. So, um, but it, it should be a, a good race up front, but definitely on the women's side, more of a team battle, I think, is the, is the bigger question mark than necessarily the individual title. Um, so that'll probably go to Finn. How many spectators are you expecting? It's a, it's a good question, you know. <laughs> when 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 we've had uh, the Greek Invitational, I know the paid attendance is top 5,000 out there. This is going to be a free event, so um, hopefully we get a good crowd. It's a little bit later. It's a little bit cooler. Uh, you know, not as many teams around. So, you know, if, if we get 3,000 out in the course, I think that'd be a good crowd. Is there parking an issue, or will there be buses shuttling? Yeah, there'll be um, there'll be two shuttle locations: the Gortner Avenue ramp in St. Paul, and then one of the State Fair um, lots as well. All that information's on the website. Um, we are doing a fan fest before the event starts to hopefully kind of almost like a tailgate to hopefully kind of get some excitement and free hot chocolate and free coffee and get people out there getting them warmed up before the event starts. Sign making, face painting, all that kind of stuff, kind of that you'd be used to before football. So, um, so hopefully that'll make it fun. Uh, Mill City Running is one of the local running shoe stores. They're going to be out there kind of helping us sponsor it as well as Nike. So uh, hopefully we'll get a little excitement built in before but yeah you know to Plaza's point I think hopefully we've we've been hyping it up as much as we can so we're hopeful to have a really big showing and and show off cross country to the state what about the other schools are they worried about the weather coming up here thinking it's going to be colder than let's say if this was in Maryland or you know I I I think anytime you say Minnesota people generally say weather I think in the north part of the Big Ten they you know they're not probably as fearful of it. I think that uh, what the teams fear, I think, is the course a little bit. And if it's been a wet fall, so times are slow and the course can be mucky. If we get another inch of rain here over the next day, day and a half, I think that that will, you know, uh, even change things up a little bit more. So I know uh, Wisconsin was in here for an early meet that we had, and uh, the coach said to me right after the race. We are so glad we came up here to preview this course because we had no idea it was this hard. Is it gonna, are you going to change it all for the for the Big Ten, or is it going to be the same? No, it's it's the exact same course that we normally normally run. When you say it's hard, is there a lot of hills on it, or? Y yeah, it, it's it's a it's a quite a hilly course, and it's got a lot of turns. It's got long grass. You know, it's got a lot of things that um, just keep continually challenging the runner for throughout the race. There's not a lot of places on that course to take it easy. So if we get this rain, do you think people have to wear cleats? We, oh, we do. Yeah, we race in spikes, so it's it's sort of similar to a cleat, but they're little metal spikes. They can go up to a half inch long. So um, it, there'll be some interesting, I think, ideas as to what people think they need to tackle the course. Um, 
But, you know, the north is sort of synonymous with cross country, so I don't think the temperature really affects, but I do think the mud and, and the course itself. Last year we ran at Northwestern, and it was basically a track with grass on top of it because um, it was a very flat golf course. This year it's just a very different feel, and I think that's what's special about cross country is you get that yin and yang. You get different courses everywhere you go. You get courses that are going to play to strengths of different teams everywhere. And even I know, you know, Plaza and I probably have the same, you know, you have to train differently every season depending on what those championship courses give you. Last year we had to train more speed because – that's what Northwestern was going to give us this year. you got to kind of train more gritty and a little more hills and things like that because that's what the championship time of year is going to give us. So um, I think that's what adds challenge as a runner and as a coach to, to really try to tackle all these different courses and know um, how best to, to strategize and how best to prepare, and, and that's what makes cross-country fun.